few minutes. You you posed a, a proposition to me a, f- a few days ago. Um, oh. And I think I think I'd like to take you up on that. And so this is going to be my formal invitation, my formal offer. I would like to buy EIW from you. <laughs> hey man. Well, all right, you're getting okay. It's getting a little crazy. Like yeah. you need to, uh, you need to calm down. You just, you just spent a couple. Of- and that's all the time we have. I'll be in touch, Dakota. I'll be talking to you, Tim. I love you. I promise I do. And we're out of here. <laughs> Slow down, let's slow down, let's, let's keep a steady pace because June 2nd in Nutter Fort West Virginia, Lane Cowley and Tyler Rossfield make their tag team debut in RSW and honestly, I can't wait. I really can't wait. There is nothing I want more than to get my hands dirty inside of an RSW ring. But there's one, one face, one familiar face that's gonna be there, man. I'm, oh my God, I can't wait. Spooky Lou, I wish you would give me a reason. I wish you would get in my face. I wish you would do something. I want you to look me in my eyes. I want you to understand that if you even dare get in my face here, you cross paths with me, I will knock you right on your goofy ass. And that will be something you can post all over your YouTube. And I want you to make sure you give it a very, very, very special premiere. And then, hey, maybe I can take your job away from you the way I'm going to take everybody's job in RSW whenever I rise to the occasion, baby. And I become the biggest star that RSW has ever seen. That is smoking. Let me get this straight. Tomorrow, we have a tag team match against Mount Killers. We have the RSW Rumble. And then, what's the deal with you and Spooky Lou? You might not be with each other? I don't understand it. It's like he's obsessed with me. It's, it's always a problem with him. I already have to deal with Mount Kilpis. I have to be in the rumble. And now I have to smack the goofy right out of Spooky Lou. It's like tomorrow is just trying to drag me down. It's trying to piss me off. I don't, I don't get it. Hey, hey. Breathe. I'm mad. We will take care of it one step at a time, okay? Mount Kilpis. The rumble. Whatever you and Spooky Lou have in common, I'm sure you would take care of that. Tomorrow night, in Nutter Fort, West Virginia, the Cali Rossville train are going to continue making towns and adding pounds because we're still starving here as we are. are. And we are going to eat everybody alive. right into it man it's been a hell of a week Uh, i've got a lot on my mind we're gonna vent a little bit we're gonna stir the shit uh we might piss some people off that's what i'm kind of known to do but hell you know who i am i'm spooky lou this is wrestle roni it's gonna be a little different but uh a little bit (laughs) more of the same you know 
it's definitely been a lot more of the same for Spooky Lou and not in a good way. Uh, I put the footage at the beginning of the episode to catch you up in case you haven't been paying attention on the socials. Lane Cowley de- debuts a little bit early in RSW, to my surprise. We'll get into that in a little bit. It's been very chaotic. Uh, I've never been in a better place and a worse place at the same time. I'll try to explain that to you, too, man. Uh, where do we start? Where do we start? Where do we begin? I think before I get too personal, let's talk about home. Let's talk about RSW and the state of RSW. Uh, another great show. Another great show in Clarksburg. Watch RSW on Authorized. Dustin Alexander successfully defends the RSW championship against Theo Strong. <laughs> Not jump change and Theo Strong. Hell of a fun match. After the match, man, it went down. If you're on social media, you've been seeing Logan Taylor talking hella shit. Dustin coming right back at him. It's been going on for a couple weeks on the socials. And uh, Dustin called him out, man. He said, if you could do something, pussy. And uh, by God, Logan did something. And uh, it got a little chaotic, man. The match is set for Buck Cannon June 22nd. I'm hyped, dude. It all comes down to this. Logan has been on a tear. People are saying he's the new face of West Virginia, the best worker in West Virginia. Here's your title shot. Prove yourself. You know, uh, unappreciated having had a title in that camp since that uh, that other that just faded away. Don't know what happened. <laughs> that fucking idiot. Anyway, so yeah, man, uh, I'm interested. I love Dustin. Dustin's proven himself. He's proven himself a great champion. And uh, Logan's made it personal, so that makes it even better. Makes it even better. Make it personal. He just posted a picture on Facebook today. (laughs) He's pretty good with the graphic art. I wish I could do that. Props to Logan Taylor on that. He posted a picture. uh, I'll pop it on the screen here. (laughs) And, you know, I mean, that takes some thought. That took some design work. So, uh, yeah, props. I got to say props. Um, now, they pulled one over on me, so I'm not. they're not my favorite people in the world. They definitely pulled one over on me at RSW. Family fun extravagance. It was not fun for me. Yeah, honestly, maybe one of the worst days of my life. Let me, let's talk about family fun extravaganza, man. So uh, they come out there, the unappreciated, running their mouth, Oh, no, well, Polly and Gannon got to go through a team to get a match with us. You know, they've been watching too much WWE, getting pointers, getting notes in their head. So uh, they bring out a new team, Lane Cowley, Tyler Rossfield. Uh, like I said, I just found out last week when the promo dropped, he said he's on the way. I said, dude, I booked this dude for June 8th at, uh, in Morgantown. What the hell's going on here? So, uh I wasn't prepared, man. I did my best to stay away from him as the show began. It was raining. We all had to get under a canopy to get together. That was super uncomfortable. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Come out and uh, introduce these fools. Tyler Rossfield, I hand-chose this guy. He was going to be my face of EIW. I had all the faith in the world in this kid. Where's EIW? Fuck if I know. I ain't even going down that road right now. I'm talking about Tyler Rossfield. I thought he was a really great talent. I thought I could talk to the kid during the match. I said, you can still do the right thing. You know, just work the match, do the right thing, and then uh, let's all talk, you know? But uh, I, dumbass Lane Kelly can't keep his eyes off me and comes after me instead of breaking up the pin like a good tag team partner should. But then Rossfield's pissed too. They chase me to the back, y'all. Um, I ran, and I'm not fucking proud of that. I'm, I'm fucking ashamed of myself. It was a heat of the moment thing. It was fight or flight, and fucking Lou flighted, bro. Whoa. Uh, it was not a good day, man. Uh, that's just one of the many things of the day, but that's what really sticks with me and eats at me and kills me. I ran from these fucking punks. Yeah, and I'm including you now, Rossfield. You were right there with him. You yelled at me, and Randy, the footage is on unauthorized, man. And I ran. I ran to the back like a fucking bitch. Spooky lose a bitch. I, now, I feel like I have to prove myself. Uh, last episode, I said the gloves are off, and Spooky's coming hard, not taking no more shit, and then I run. Whoa. 
So yeah, uh, I'll give you the point, Lane Kelly. You you fucking win this round. You chased me off. You didn't catch me. I got out there and filmed the next match, but that's that's not the issue, man. I fucking ran. I will never, ever, ever run from any of y'all again. I don't care. I don't care who it is, how many there is. I will never run again. Come at me. I'm not moving. I won't touch you. I fucking dare you, Lane Cali. I dare you to put a finger on me, you little fucking punk. Here you are. I did this. I'm the first to say I did this. It's my grand plan. June 8th, get you humbled by Reese Hayes. Somebody I know that can stretch you, push you to your limit, beat your ass, and maybe make you realize you ain't as good as you think you are. Maybe you do have to get a few more reps in, Lane Callie. You're not a champion no more. You lost again in Morgantown. And that's what's going to happen June 8th, Skitter Moe's up on the mountain. Up on the mountain, baby. I cannot wait. And I've been sitting here thinking, and uh, I ain't perfect. I made some mistakes, man. This time last year, or let's, let's look at the end of the year last year, bro. I had sponsors. I had I started my own promotion in EIW. And I think about the friends I had then that I don't have now. A big falling out. I always had two guys I could lean on, knew I had they had my back. I, they knew I had theirs. Two guys that I talked to constantly every day about this business and they uh, they were the shoulders I leaned on. They were pointing me in the right direction. Both of them's gone, man. It's just me. It's just me now, and I'm figuring it out on my own. Both of those guys are long gone. If you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, the one, probably never speak to me again. Fucking weirdest fucking falling out ever, but here we are. The other one, I don't fucking know if he'll ever be wrestling again either. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know what the fuck's going on with him. I wish him the best. The whole situation's fucked. It's fucked, and here I am. Here I am trying to figure it out. And uh, I created some situations for myself. I sure did. Just in case, another one, man. Uh, I was so proud. I was so happy to have him on the podcast. Had him at my house. Somebody that I watched all my for years. I don't know how many shows I watched this guy on. And I was so proud and so happy to have this guy on the podcast. And uh, things go south. Batteries die. Okay. Okay. So maybe that's on me too. I had them charged, but uh, maybe I should have shut your old ass up so they didn't die. Control the interview. That's on me too. It's time to shape up, man. I talked about the gloves are off and we're going to do this and we're going to do that and then I fucking run. It sucks. It really sucks. But uh, like I say, no more, man. And uh, all you can do is uh, just see what happens. Just see what happens. I highly encourage you to get out to an rsw show this summer because it's going to get interesting thank god i got a list because i can't remember all of them june 8th skitter moe's morgantown june 15th grafton west virginia june 22nd buckhannon big show in buckhannon june 29th stonewood west virginia and you got the motown bar fight show coming up july 4th bro I'm just going to cut it off here because this this is uh, super important. One's been announced. Fairview. Fairview double shot on July 4th. The other one will be in Monongah, my hometown. Uh, July 4th is super important to the channel. That will be the second anniversary of WrestleRoney. The very first WrestleRoney went up on July 4th when I went to an RSW show for the first time in my hometown. I'm telling you, man, things come full circle for a reason. Things happen for a reason. I highly encourage you to get out to these shows if you're a fan of the channel, if you're a fan of RSW. Things are changing, man. I love RSW. RSW's home. RSW's done so much for me, and I'd like to think I've done quite a bit for RSW. And, uh, there's a fucking legacy there, man. We're building a legacy. And I have all the faith in Tim Cross. I have all the faith in the world in Sean Pugh. It's just uh, I think I can contribute more. And things 
like Lane Cali. I created this Lane Cali situation. I created this new syndicate deal. So I'll ha I'll handle it somehow. I'm not a worker, man. I'm not a worker. I'm not saying I'm going to wrestle these guys. But I'm a smart dude. So it's time to, like I say, it's time to just take some steps in the right direction. RSW is quickly changing. Not only do you have the new syndicate, you got FC Mason coming in. There's all kinds of new names coming in. And I might be looking all the time, watching other promotions in the area, watching promotions everywhere, looking for new talent to get over here to help us change the game. Because we're the best right now, man. There's no touching us. There's no other promotion in West Virginia running every single weekend, having fans come out that know who the hell we are, chanting the same chants. We're on a roll, bro. And uh, like I say, this weekend wasn't my weekend. This is a big L. This is a big L this weekend. So we're going to change that. We're going to change that for me. We're going to get a win in the Spooky Lou column. Because, yeah, um... Maybe I do have an ego, and maybe it did get bruised, and I'm just going to have to do what I got to do. But I'm not running no more. I'll tell you that. Never again. Never again. Just in case you got a problem, come see me. Lane Cowley, I'll be right there filming that match when you face Reese Hayes, bro. Have you watched tape on this guy? I picked the best of the best for you. And you fucker, I see so much potential in you. It fucking draws me fucking nuts. I know you're going to be something. I know Rossfield's going to be somebody. I know FC Mason's going to be somebody. And as much as I hate you, you fuck, I see this as an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm going to make you a fucking star, kid. And that's what frustrates the living hell out of me. There is a gold mine of talent in front of us. There are so many young and up-and-coming talent that have it. They have it. We have the vets to work with them, the best vets in the area. Violent Vance Desmond. I got to give Justin Case his due. Zach Vincent. Matt Connard. Uh, the list goes on and on, man. Uh, you can just look at the footage. You see who we got in our locker room. The best of the best. Now's the time to capitalize. Now we bust our ass, put it in a different gear, and show the world. I'm telling you. Speaking of young talent, man, uh, we got to go to the fan questions. Chase Bennett writes in. I uh, can't call him a fan. Hell of a worker. So it's a worker question. Chase Bennett. What's it going to take to get Chase Bennett in RSW? That's a good question, man. The kid is so talented. Uh, for those that don't know, I've had Chase on the show. We've discussed it. I'll put it a uh, link in the description. We had him booked for EIW. Uh, couldn't wait to have him and Rucker in a dog fight, man. It was going to be so good. Uh, then uh, people, uh, I, how do I put this, man? Um, a story comes out. I talked to the people involved. The story wasn't true. So here we are. Chase still can't be hired. And uh, believe me. I'm in the right people's ear saying, dude, I'm telling you, the guy's good. We got to use him. But uh, it all goes back to one silly little incident that, uh, I don't know, a lot's been, being made of, and I don't think Chase should be punished for it. I know, I've been around Chase enough. I know he's a good dude with a good heart, good intentions. And back to talent and frustration, it does frustrate me, boot. The guy is talented as hell, can cut a hell of a promo, ring works top notch. He deserves to be everywhere, man. Book Chase Bennett. I'm saying it. I will put my name on the line for Chase Bennett all day. I'll put my name on the line for folks like Stephen Meeks all day. Uh, Tyler Rose up in Canada, wish you nothing but the best. Phil Picasso. These are people, man, that I know are doing it, that love this shit, are busting their ass to contribute to pro wrestling. Let's get Chase Bennett in RSW, man. I'm, I'm about it. I'm all for it. So, uh, Chase, I promise you, I'll work a little bit harder. I'll work a little bit harder because there's nothing more uh, I'd love to see than Chase Bennett on WrestleRoney. Uh, when I can get the Marmot and record his matches there, I love it. <laughs> Marmot's coming up this Friday. Uh, Mega Pro Wrestling. Hell of a card, man. Dark Clouds will be in the house taking on Chase Bennett. 
and Corey. So, uh, yo, bro, Shooter Society, going to be a good one. Get up there. Don't miss this one. John Cooper always puts on a hell of a show. We are here. We're doing the damn thing. I'm damn proud of this channel and all we've done. I'm damn proud of RSW. I'm damn proud of the West Virginia scene. I'm damn proud of Ohio and Pennsylvania. We're killing it, man. And the fans are there. Watch a WWE show. I watched Raw last night. Did you hear that crowd? The fans aren't only there, they're excited. I'm excited. I'm the luckiest dude in the world. Who has the best seat in the house for a wrestling match? Me, constantly. Let's do this, man. I love it, dude. Like I say, Friday, Marmot, uh, Mega Pro, Saturday, cannot wait. I'm hitting my leg. You can't see it, but cannot wait, bro. Listen to this shit. MV Young finally returning to RSW with our RSW Internet Championship that he has not defended once. Just took it and gone. Who's going to save us? The guiding light, Matt Taylor. There, there's no doubt in my mind. There is no doubt in my mind that Matt Taylor can take a MV Young. All due respect to MV. Uh, if you listen to prior podcasts, I'm a huge fan of his work. A huge fan of what he's doing with T2T and 880. A great group of talent. That I want those. I want those guys too. I want those guys on shows, man. So many good guys up there, man. So you're doing great work, but you didn't defend our title. You took it. You left. Haven't heard a word. Have, he could give a shit less about RSW. That's obvious. I wish him nothing but the best. Like I say, they're killing it. Uh, a few of these Pittsburgh guys, <laughs> I'll come out and say it right now, man. I got a little uh, thorn in my side, a little, uh, let's do it. Let's just, fuck it. Let's put it out there, man. I was, oh, but I was trying to sell MV and uh, Matt Taylor. Matt Taylor's going to save us, bring back the title. But since we're talking about Pittsburgh shitheads, let's talk about Zeke Mercer straight up stealing a fucking uh, match of his against MV from the channel and posting it on his channel. No biggie, but uh, it's a respect thing. I think I've done enough to where I deserve at least, hey, man, can I uh, can I use the match that's on your channel? Uh, I know it's your match. I'm all for wrestlers getting their footage. A uh, couple days ago, Gen Z messaged me. Hey, man, do you mind if I uh, use the match for the channel? I don't care. Have at it. Thank you for asking. Thank you for having the respect, young man. Dude's, dude's just graduating high school, and he has the respect, Zeke. I don't know what I ever did to you, but uh, oh, I guess we can just steal now. I could copyright strike your ass because guess what? I'm a paid YouTuber. It's what I do. So, uh, nah. You know what? I'll even share it for you. So maybe you can get up to maybe 100 subscribers, get uh, 20 views on your video, buddy. We're booked up, baby. Booked up. We've got double shots. We're uh, RSW showcase match and USW coming up. When's the date? I'll get you the date on that because it's going to be fun. In Barber County, that's my old stomping grounds. Uh, a lot of my childhood, teenage years, I grew up in Barber County. It might, it might be outside of Barber County. It's in that area. It's in an area where I grew up, so I'm excited for that. Let me get you the date, give you some more. There we go. United States Wrestling, baby. Stars and Stripes. It's going to be Saturday, July 13th. I'm excited to work for uh, a new company. Many thanks to the great T-Bone Jones for hooking this up for us. We do have an RSW showcase match on a USW show. This is in uh, Elmore, Elmore Fire Department. RSW showcase match will be Air Duzan against Anthony Rucker. Also, oh shit, we got Mount Kil Kilpis against uh, J.D. Gatton and uh, Turkana Death Warrior, baby. You got Robbie Wayne against Axel Crow. I hear they've got a feud that's went on forever. Excited to see that match. Brian Hardy defends the heavyweight championship against the Lumberjack. No, he's challenging. See, what's Spooky Lou know? Spooky Lou don't know shit. Brian Hardy challenging for the championship against Huck Sawyer. You got the Silver Screen Championship. Hunter Cole against Adam Armstrong. $25 ringside, $15 general admission. I hope you come out, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Looking forward to working with a new company. Man, I, I want to work with everybody. Hit me up. Please hit me up. <laughs> Y'all forgot about Spooky Lou. That adds to my frustration. But I bitched about that. We've, we've discussed that. 
No, I am. I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of great stuff. If you're a wrestling fan this summer, we got the bar fight show in Morgantown. We're going to do some no ring shit. There's a lot of good stuff coming up, man. Uh, it's just, uh, I promise you, it's a fucking mess behind the scenes. I said it. It's a fucking mess. The shit with Logan Taylor and Dustin Alexander, the shit is beyond personal. These guys train together. They go way back. They've known each other for years. And it's finally coming to a head. Like I say, this is a moment. This is a moment for Logan to step up. Dude, the dude's got an attitude. There's no denying him. There's no denying Logan Taylor. And it does. It kind of it kind of scares me, man. You know they got a plan. I guarantee you, Bake's got a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, a plan D on how to get that title off of Dustin Alexander. So uh, it could be a new RSW after that show in Buckhannon. After the 22nd could be a whole different scene. I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to this Saturday. Lane Cali, I'll be there, bro. You and Reese Hayes, bro, I know it's going to be a good one. I'm excited as hell to film that match for the channel. Don't come at me. You better focus on the match. Don't worry about Spooky Lou. You, this needs all your focus. This is the biggest match you've ever had, kid. I know you've had the tag belts. I know you've been tag team champion. Reese Hayes is on some other. That's the reason I pick, picked Reese Hayes. Watch some tape on Reese Hayes. There's all kinds of footage. They have a weekly show. T2T has a weekly show every Thursday night out of New Kim. And every week, you're going to see Reese Hayes on there. Kicking somebody's ass, bro. Uh, highly encourage you. I'll tell you what, I'll hook you up with a link in the channel so you can check out some Reese Hayes. Tyler Rossville, I guess uh, we are where we are. I guess you forget the opportunities that I gave you, the spotlight I put on you. And then, guess what happened, Tyler? Oh, my God. Now we're working PWL. Now we're working RSW. You're welcome. You're welcome, kid. I guess you forgot that, but that's fine. Be a shithead. You're on the wrong side of the fence, buddy. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. Talking about EIW. Everybody's asking about EIW. Right now, it hasn't been sold. That's, uh, that's where we're at. I really don't want to go down that road too much. Frustrated. I'm going to quote Bret Hart. Frustrated isn't the goddamn word for it, right? Shit needs to get moving, man. Shit needs to get moving. If shit doesn't start moving, I'll make it move. And if it moves straight down the drain, at least I tried. It's 11.54 on June 4th of 2024. The show is supposed to go out today, and I keep dicking around, cutting out little things I said, putting things back in that I don't give a fuck about. Um... This podcast, where I'm at, the shit with Callie, it's, it, it's, it's definitely got to me, <laughs> to say the least. But, I just got off the phone, probably an hour and a half phone call, with a veteran that I respect. I called him for advice with Lane Callie. The advice I got, the line I got, I'm sure you've heard, and it's going to sound corny. But I'll let you know what he told me. He said, brother... You got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. What a great country song. But uh, but there's meaning to that. And I know he meant what he said. So, I tell you what. I'm Spooky Lou. I stand for RSW. I stand for West Virginia Independent Wrestling. I stand for Independent Wrestling. I stand for Russell Roney. I stand for me and my mission to put a spotlight on West Virginia wrestling. And Lane Cali, you're not going to fuck that up. Nobody's going to fuck that up. I know my intentions. I know what is possible. And nobody's fucking with that. I'm sorry, but uh, look at my numbers, man. I'm unstoppable. I may be on the decline. You called me out on Facebook about my numbers dropping because I'm obsessed with you. What a good point, man. But I tell you what. We still get new subscribers every day. There's not an hour that goes by that somebody's not watching Russell Roney. That a few people ain't watching Russell Roney. We're doing just fine. But there's so much more we could do. So uh, I need to focus. I need to focus. You're exactly right. Selene Cali, this Saturday we're at the same place. I dare your pussy ass to step to me, pussy. 
come see me. I'll be right there. Again, Spooky Lou never misses a show. Lane Callie, I'll give it to you. I've never heard of you missing a show. I know uh, there was a few that missed the show this weekend because they partied at the bash and didn't feel like getting their lazy asses up to come down to RSW, but that's a whole nother story. And uh, that's not my problem. Definitely not my problem. Lane Callie, Tyler Rossfield, I guess you both are my problem. Well, if I've got to handle you somehow... I have no clue. I'll be straight up. I have no clue what the fuck I'm going to do. But I got to fight the good fight for for a bigger cause. It's not just about Spooky Lou. There's a whole fucking company at stake here. Yeah, if I go, RSW will be fine. You're still going to do your thing. But I'm going to fight for us. You're not going to fuck up RSW. There's Believe me, there's enough drama going on in RSW and has been going on for months. So, this is on me. This is my fault, man. I brought y'all in. Totally my fault. My problem to fix. I have no solution at the moment. I'll be straight up. No plan A, no nothing. I'll figure it out. We got till Saturday to figure it out. Skitter Moe's main event. MV Young, Matt Taylor. I don't know if it's the main event. It's the main event in my mind because it's important. Get us our belt back. MV Young, go do your thing. Best of luck to you. But you're losing the belts, coming home to RSW. Matt Taylor's the fucking man. Know that. So much other good stuff coming up at that show. This has been Russell Roney, man. Uh, like I say, I'm not in a good place, but I'm not a pussy. I'll be fine. I'll bounce back. I ran. I ran. Uh, it was not a good show Sunday. Saturday's going to be a good show. There's no doubt in my mind. Again... I'm here by myself. I'm on an island of my own. I got to handle it myself. I'm a man. I'll figure it out. I assure you all, I'll figure it out. And we'll keep growing. We'll keep being the goddamn realest wrestling channel on YouTube. We'll keep being the best wrestling channel on YouTube. I'll keep bringing you the greatest podcast on YouTube. I'll keep getting you the best angles and shots of the matches. Bringing you the best athletes in the area. Because it's what the fuck I do. I'm Spooky Lou. I'm not taking any shit from none of y'all. If I pissed anybody off, put it in the comments. Holler at me in private, however you want to handle it. I'm not hard to find. I gave you all the dates for all the RSW shows. You can bet your ass Spooky Lou will be there, camera in hand, working my goddamn ass off because it's what I do and it's what I'll continue to do for this business. Don't fuck with me. Lane Callie, you're a goddamn problem. Tyler Rossfield, you're a goddamn problem. And I promise you, I promise the world, I promise my subscribers, my audience, my brothers in RSW, I will handle you both. You will be humiliated. You will be humbled. I'll do what the fuck I gotta do. Just in case I ain't forgot about you either, you'll be handled too. It's all, man. It's all I got. I'm fucking Spooky Lou. If I pissed you off, good. Fucking fix it. Fix it yourself. I got enough fucking problems on my plate. I promise you. I'll handle it. I'll figure it out. Don't y'all worry about Spooky Lou. I promise you. I'll be just fine. The channel will keep on growing. The numbers will go up. We're in a good place, baby. I promise you that. I might be not be in a good headspace mentally, but we're in a good place. Fucking shit's about to be fire. Mark my words. Treat each other with kindness and respect. Go out there and live your dreams. Do what you got to do to accomplish what you want to accomplish out of life. And fuck the feelings. Fuck anyone's feelings but yours. Look out for you. Look out for number one. Especially if you're in the wrestling business. Because it's cutthroat as fuck. There's snakes left and right. It's independent wrestling. You make the money. You fucking look out for you. I love my brothers though. I love it. I love y'all. You know the message. Uh, follow RSW on the socials so you'll see the fucking chaos going down and where we'll be next. Do your thing, man. Hit me up. Let me know who you want to see on the show. Let me see. Uh, let me know what promotions you want to see on the channel because you know we're not just RSW. We got XVW. We got Phil Picasso's APW. We're international. We're banging as fuck. Tell your friends to subscribe to Russell Roney because we're the hottest goddamn thing on YouTube. And it's about to fucking get a lot crazier because Spooky Lou is about to put down the fucking camera and straighten fuckers up however I got to. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a fucking big stick like Case does because, uh, you know, I, I, I guarantee I'm not much of a fighter. So I got to figure that shit out too. I don't know. Stay tuned. Shit's about to get hot.
Uh, you have my word on that. I promise you, there's some shit coming down the pike. It's going to be wild. We're in for a wild fucking ride. Strap the fuck in. Watch Wrestle Roni. I cannot thank you enough for your support, for your love, for your kind words, just for your time. I appreciate you. I'm fired up. Let's fucking go change the world. I'm out of here.